segue. Hello, I'm Karen Warden from LA Talk Radio's Film Courage. We're here with the lovely Christina Rose, who is in Death of the Dead and How Do You Write a Joe Sherman Song. Now, in another one of Gary King's movies, New York Lately, he has a character named Veronica Darling, and she's an actress. And she struggles with her own inner demons and rejection. As an actor, how do you deal with that? You go out on a casting of some sort, you don't get it or there's that in-between period. How do you deal with that unknown and the possible rejection that you might face? I think that it's a growth that as an actress, like in the beginning, it's really hard because you're putting yourself out there, you're not used to it, and you, you're just putting so much into it that you want every role that you go out for, and you understand as, as you go on in the business that you can't get every role, that sometimes they just want a, bl a blonde instead of the brunette. So you start to understand that you're just going to go out there and give 110% and give your best. And I know at this point in my career that it's okay if I don't get something because I book other things, and, then, and I just want to do good work. So I think it's just... Uh, the growth in the career as you get older and as you do more work you understand that there's so many actors and actresses out there and you can't get everything so you just be thrilled with what you get and work really hard at those roles so you kind of learn that you don't take it personal it could be that you were too tall or whatever it is and just to not personalize yeah, it exactly mm -hmm. yeah I mean and it's not it's still not easy I mean sure. because as an actress you're putting yourself out there this is me I'm the package that I'm selling so right. you know you do take it a little personally but you have to if you're serious about the career you have to just move past it otherwise you're just gonna shut yourself in a room and never go back out the door and for every like you know maybe a hundred roles you audition for you may not get but one or two, but those two roles are going to like help make your career. So, mm -hmm. you know, you just you know that the more you go out there, the more opportunities you have to book something. If you never go out there, you're not going to book anything. So, right. yeah. I mean, as artists, we're we're just sensitive, kind of emotional creatures, mm -hmm. and I think things probably affect us more. I know they do for me. Was there ever a time that you kind of did doubt for yourself? And how did you handle that? Oh yeah, I mean, I go like this. Okay. Right. <laughs> I mean, and I think that you know. Um, you you do have to learn, and it's something that we do learn as actresses and actors that there is that inner demon, sure, sure. and that you you know they're gonna say things to you, and you learn from certain things that that inner demon says to you, but then you you know to just put it in the back of your head and and move forward because we're all gonna have that that judge that you're talking about, and I think that our support systems are so important because I have people that tell me that they believe in me all the time, and and these people, these directors, these producers that do good work believe in me, so I know that I have it. And even if you get rejected, like like we said, you know, you have to just move past that and be confident. I think it's very important to be confident as an actress and know and, and trust your skills because that way you can go out there and put out so much and not judge yourself and hold back because if you don't make choices and you're too scared to make choices, then you can't make those beautiful choices that we see on film and TV. So, yeah. <laughs>